What's up, bitches? This is Silent Rob. Clean shaven bitches. You guys know I don't really like to do stuff and shave and really get out of bed really at all, usually most of the time, but my girlfriend cut my hair and uh, I think it looks pretty fucking good, so big props to her. Also, shaved. I don't, I hate fucking shaving even though it takes like five seconds, but you know, I clean up pretty fucking good bitches, I gotta say. But I want to make this video, I got some pretty cool shit to show you guys. Um, like I said, I collect video game books and video game related memorabilia type books. I, I like, it's the only kind of books I ever fucking read, that's for fucking sure. But I have some interesting ones to show you guys, so let's go ahead and check them out. So the first one I got is called the Video Games Hardware Handbook from 1977 to 1999. Now my brother accidentally ripped this. He was like looking at it and accidentally ripped it, but it's not a big fucking deal. I just need to tape it. But um, it's kind of hard to find this. Uh, this one in the second volume. I think the second volume is even harder to find, but I think this is from the UK actually, a retro gamer. So this basically covers, like, um, um, pretty much everything. Th this first volume is, like, my favorite. There's a second volume I'll show in a minute, but in my opinion, this, this first one's better. It covers a lot more stuff that I had as a kid. So, let me go to the uh, beginning here and kind of show you guys what it all pertains to. Show you guys everything that's in it. I'm trying not to rip it further. Uh, Alright, so here we go. So this book has, like, Intellivision, Game & Watch, Sinclair, BBC Micros, ZX Spectrum. Like, all that fucking shit. And the NES, Sega Master System, Sega Mega Drive, Genesis. And then it's got, like, top ten games for all the different systems and shit, man. And there's just so much fucking shit in this book. I thought it was fucking just dope. Like, you can go to, like, there's BBC Micro, which I don't really know a lot of stuff about these, uh, UK fucking computer systems and shit. I mean, that's pretty much what the UK thrived on, is that kind of stuff, but, you know, I've talked to, like, uh, Guru Larry's told me a lot of stuff about that kind of shit. Yeah, ZX Spectrum, which, it's gotta infuriate people from the UK hearing us say, The ZX Spectrum, burp, burp, burp. Okay, I didn't understand why they said ZX Spectrum for the longest time, so somebody had to actually explain it to me, because we call it Z, bitches. That's just the way we roll. But I always like the look of these. These always kind of look cool to me. Even though I've, I've heard typing on this thing is just a fucking nightmare, so. But, um, I, I heard these are, like, pretty much impossible to get working in, in America without, like, 20,000 conversion devices and all this other crazy shit. There's all kinds of... I like the graphics on them. It kind of looks kind of cool. But, I don't know. That Rare Replay had a bunch of them on there, and I didn't like pretty much any of them. We got uh, Dragon 32. I don't know what the fuck that is. What the fuck is Dragon 32 mean? You guys are just making shit up now, man. It's ridiculous. I don't know if I ever... If that, did that come out? Kind of looks like in television or something. Yeah, a little bit. So we got Commodore, which I've always wanted a Commodore 64. I don't know if maybe somebody has an extra Commodore 64 they can send me or something, man. But I've always I've always wanted to get one of those. Um, Guru Larry tells me they're just so much fucking fun to you know goof around with, and you can find games really fucking cheap for them, or you can just burn your own and play them on the tape deck or however it fucking works. But I think these things are so cool. I love the sound chip on them too, man. They got like the best sound chip. The graphics look really fucking good on them still. They really hold up. Some of the later Commodore 64 games are really fucking impressive. I mean, check this fucking shit out, man. I mean, that's just fucking madness. I mean, it's basically, you know, like Super Nintendo style shit. There's fucking uh, Turrican and shit. I think that's Turrican. Yeah, that's Turrican. And all kinds of shit, man. This book is really fucking cool, though. Vectrix. I mean, it has, like, everything. I wish my brother didn't rip it. I like to keep my shit nice, and like I said, I'm kind of OCD when it comes to keeping my shit perfect, but I don't know. I mean, I need to start breaking that habit and getting fucking ridiculous with this shit, but yeah, there's all kinds of shit in that one, so I'm gonna, I need to speed up. This is going to be a long-ass fucking video. Five minutes on one book, bitches. So this is volume two. I got both of these at uh, Half Price Books. So, um, 
yeah, it's kind of the same thing. Uh, the stuff in this one isn't really as interesting to me. Some Ab Amstrad stuff. There is PlayStation in here, so... Um, Apple II. It's kind of the same basic setup, but... Like I said, I gotta tape that first one. And uh, my brother got me this a couple Christmases back, bitches. This is the uh, Mega Man and Mega Man X Official Complete Works Anniversary Book. This is fucking dope sauce a la mode. Look at all this. Like an enemy designs for every game. Fucking, oh my god. I love me some fucking Mega Man, man. Like every every game has something on it. Mega Man 10, Mega Man 9. It goes through every game. I think it's like enemy designs for all of them. Mega Man, or Rock Man. I ain't calling it Rock Man. It's Mega Man, bitches. But yeah, this is fucking awesome. It has all the uh, like official art, Blast Hornet. There's like Blast Hornet card. I don't know if these are cards or what the fuck these are. Yeah, anniversary. This is a really cool book. Anybody that's a fan of Mega Man, yeah, my brother went, oh man, I love these. These are fucking awesome. I don't know what the fuck they were smoking back in the day when they came up with these old Mega Man art styles. Like, what does this have to do with Mega Man right here? He's not silver ever in any game. I don't ever think Mega Man is ever silver, okay? He's, this fucking metal fucking coating, Titanium Man... Like, it's so fucking goofy, man. It's got all the the uh, Mega Man arts on it and shit, but I would, I would, you know, Mega Man 2. Like, everybody talks about Mega Man 1's box art sucking dick, man. Mega Man 2's ain't much fucking better, okay? Like, what the fuck? He's just getting off his fucking motorcycle with his little, with his little fucking uh, taser gun here he's got. Like, what the fuck, dude? Mega Man does not wear... Motorcycle helmets, okay? Especially not old man style visor flip up helmets. Okay, what the fuck? He's like one of those old motherfuckers that goes to fucking. Like, <laughs> rolls around on his motorcycle, thinks he's fucking badass and his blue le leotard. I could go on and on about fucking bad cover art. You guys know I dig that shit. But yeah, I think that's pretty fucking cool. My brother got me that, so I appreciate that. I just bought this the other day. It's, uh. An illustrated history of 151 video games, which is kind of a strange number to pick. I don't really, I don't really understand that shit. Uh, history of 95.25 games. Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, why 151? Like, it don't make no fucking sense, but it is literally just 151 random games, I guess, that they think are, like, some of the best games. But it does start, like, you know, way back... Like Missile Command, and it goes, you know, as you flip, it goes, you know, newer and newer. This book's fairly old, so I think it stops a few years back here. Let me see. There's a content index section here. Yeah, Journey and Fez are like the two newest games on here. So it is a little bit old, but I think I got this for like 15 bucks or something. So I thought it was pretty cool. It's another one I wanted to show you guys. You guys have probably all seen this, but the Legend of Zelda Hyrule Story. I think they got another one out of this, but my brother also got me this. It's really fucking cool Zelda stuff. I'm not into Zelda stuff as much as my brother, which I'm kind of surprised my brother hasn't like offered to buy this off of me. But uh, if you dig Zelda, man, this has got all kinds of fucking cool shit in it. But, like I said, I like Zelda, man, but it's just kind of one of those series that I just don't play that much. Like, I've beaten I've beaten Zelda 2, Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, um, Ocarina of Time several times, I beat Wind Waker, um, God, that might be it, bitches. I might not have beaten any more after that. I just kind of, I just kind of get tired of them after a while you know what i mean like ocarina of time is the one i can go back to any day of the week and just put a smile on my face but same thing with link to the past but the rest of them i don't know i mean i can i'll be all right if i don't play them you know what i mean but this book's pretty cool but uh yeah zelda fans only like pretty hardcore zelda stuff in here i don't really think there's that much interesting information in it really i mean i guess if you care about the fucking chronology of fucking Hyrule, Land of the Guy. If you care about the Zelda storyline, motherfucker, please, okay? <laughs> I don't give a rat's ass about the Zelda storyline, okay? Not my cup of tea, bitches. 
Okay, I didn't even know it had a fucking story. Just go around, go to the dungeons, and kill stuff. This right here, take out of the plastic bag. I, I keep this nice. This is my all-time favorite EGM magazine. I got two copies of this. I found it really cheap. Um, it's the 100th uh, issue. So this is uh, issue 100. I got this a long time ago. And I th my childhood copy got all torn up. But the reason I like this is that EGM... This is a pretty old magazine. EGM did a uh, 100 best games of all time list. And I used to read this when I was a kid, man. I just thought it was the coolest fucking thing ever. So, this is fucking awesome Duke Nukem 64 fucking ad, man. This is what... I mean, when you see this as a kid, you're like, Mom? Mom! I want Duke Nukem, Mom! I need Duke Nukem, I need it right now, Mom! <laughs> Give me the fucking game, oh my god! Like, who the fuck wouldn't buy... Look at this! I need it now! This is, this is the ad that made me want to get it. So, like, looking back on this stuff, is I, I love going back through these old magazines, man. Unfortunately, I lost a lot of my old EGMs fairly recently due to water damage. It's kind of a bummer. Um, I had them in a crate, and they were up in my uh, brother's old room, and it rained. And, like, I guess the water got in and kind of ruined... A lot of my EGMs, I had a lot of EGMs, so I'm kind of really bummed about that. I don't know if maybe anybody's got some extra old late 90s, early 2000s EGMs they want to get rid of, but let me know. But it's getting harder to find those. I'm kind of bummed. I bought a whole bunch from a guy for like 100 bucks one time, and that's where I got them all. But I've kept this 100th, 100th issue because I got it off eBay probably about 10, 15 years ago or something. Long time, but... Best games of all time list. I'll kind of flip through this real quick. And a lot of these games, like I remember reading this when I was a kid. Cause you got to think, like this magazine came out November '97. Okay, this is '97. So this fucking book's probably older than a lot of you guys watching right now. So like I used to go through this like seven, eight, I was eleven when this book came out, and so I'd go through this list. And a lot of these games I never heard of, and it was cool. You know, I, I went and found a lot of fucking gems from this list that I never heard of. Like, I didn't know what the... I used to call it Panzer Dragoon Zooey. <laughs> I didn't know how to pronounce that shit. You know, and there's some there's some weird stuff on here. I don't think Kirby's Avalanche Mean Bean Machine deserves to be on this. But, I mean, it's 97, so shit has changed. We got Mega Man X4 is kind of an odd one. Legendary Axe, Jumping Flash... Um, Ease, I'm pretty sure Ease is on this list, and I didn't know how to even fucking pronounce it. Did I already pass it? I might have already passed Ease. Maybe not. But I used to call it YS, or Ish, Ish, I think I, call, I, I, I did not know how to fucking pronounce it. There's Mega Man 2, it's 73, my fucking ass, kiss my dick. You know, fuck, you're telling me Zelda 2's better than Mega Man 2? Eat a fucking dick, Okay. Sonic 2 Snatcher. That's the first time I ever seen anything on Snatcher. I could have sworn these books was on here. There's a whole bunch of shit. San Fantasy Star. Like I think, if I remember right, the number one game. Let me try to go through here real quick. Find the number one game. Some Sonic CDs in the top twenty. Oh my god, man! Going back to seeing this kind of. Rise of Symphony of the Night, fuck yeah. So even in 97, the world knew how good Symphony was. You know, this is, PS1 was still kicking here, you know what I mean? R64, Super Metroid. Super Metroid, EGM did another list, and Super Metroid was number one. So it's number six on this first list that they did. So we got Mario 3, All-Stars Edition is number two. I think Tetris is number one, if I remember right. Yep. There it is, Tetris number one, which, uh, okay, whatever, you know. It was a revolution, I suppose. But I think that's just a really cool magazine. Like I said, I got two copies of it because I found it um, really cheap somewhere fairly recently. I was just blown away. Now we got Nintendo Power number one. So I'm going to set this down real quick on the bed so I can open this without ripping my shit. 
should have pre-opened this, but I'm crazy, man. I'm crazy. Alright. So I traded I traded some stuff in to a guy. Uh, a few DS games and shit I didn't need to get this. I think he had it for like almost a hundred bucks or something. I can't remember, but I traded some stuff and wheeled and dealed because I was like, I gotta get the first fucking Nintendo Power. So ugly as fuck cover in my opinion so crazy it's like got mario's got the dead eyes gone man like he's just peers into your soul first page of the first nintendo power right here bitches welcome it's our premiere issue of nintendo power the new bi-monthly magazine is going to put more power in the hands of video game players like you never before nintendo power is created by x but experts okay yeah yeah yeah. buy our shit bye 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 buy it now give us give us a credit card number so we can charge it randomly for nothing Okay, so, oh, we got a whole fucking section on Gauntlet, oh boy, oh, man, let me go ahead and tell you guys how to play Gauntlet, uh, push one button and walk around and kill stuff, okay, you don't need no fucking, are you fucking kidding me? I think they do have the Contra code in this one, though. Mario Brothers 2, that's the first one they really ever covered. It's pretty cool, although I don't really think there's a whole lot of... Other than the warp points of, like, going into the vases to warp, there's not really a whole lot of help you really need for Mario 2. Like, I don't really... I don't really see it. That's, like, strategy guides for Call of Duty. Like, uh... Uh, shoot stuff! Like, who's... Who the fuck's lost in Call of Duty, man? Hey, you get, your, get your gamer card checked, man. What the fuck? That's... It's like Mario's like doing porno now or something. I mean, he's got like the porno stash look going there. I don't know what that's all about. Fucking, what the fuck? Did Peach have a stroke? Is he stroking out, man? What happened to her nose? Her nose is optional here? What happened? Everybody else got a nose. This is a weird fucking, I don't know what the fuck this is. Sports festival? Showing off their, man. <laughs> you gotta love the randomness of these old fucking magazines, man, but... Yeah, I won't show it all, because it's like, god damn, this fucking video's getting long. <laughs> I figured it would. But yeah, it's got a whole bunch of stuff on Contra. That's fucking cool. It's so cool how it's just like a rip-off of an Arnold Schwarzenegger Predator cover, and nobody gave a fuck. They just went with it. Double Dragon. Yeah, I just think this is really cool. I've always wanted the first Nintendo Power, so now I have it, bitches. And I got some other Nintendo powers that I'll show you real quick. I bought this one the other day. Uh, let's see, phasers on stun. See, I do buy stuff from there every now and then. $3.99, can't beat that. Got Illusion of Gaia on the cover. I was like, hells to the year. So this is actually a really cool one. It's got, like, Brain Lord in it. And uh, Illusion of Gaia. I mean, I love, love Illusion of Gaia. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go on record right now as to say that I like Illusion of Gaia more then Link to the Past. Yeah. I just said it, bitches. So, I adore that game. So, there's all kinds of stuff in here. There's even a poster, and this is what sold me on this book. First of all, because it's three fucking ninety nine, but I thought it was cool that it still had the uh, Earthworm Jim poster in it, bitches. That's cool as tits. So, I had to get that. As soon as I showed Spencer that, he's like, oh, shit, Earthworm Jim poster in there? I'm like, hell yeah. So... Added that to the Nintendo Power Collection. Another one. I won't open this one. Uh, I didn't really look at this one too much, but Star Trek one, I had to get that. It was two bucks at Clarkade, which is... I'm never going back there after that dude tried to fucking screw me down on $60 on my fucking uh, NVIDIA Shield, which... Uh, I thought my NVIDIA Shield was over there, but it's not. So, yeah, two bucks. I had to get that. This is really cool. I got this Phaser Zone Stun, $24.99. Mega Man 2, bitches. Look at this fucking creepy ass. Fuck, it looks like fucking Dr. Wily's a corpse, man. He's been dead for years. That's creepy as shit. I don't know what's going on. I want the thinking with this old shit. But yeah, that's cool as fuck. I had to get that. And you notice this, this weird claymation. Like, you can tell, like, this is, like, hand-modeled or something. But I had to get Mega Man 2. And then saw this. Clarkade for 12 bucks. Mega Man 3, bitches. Which I don't know. Dude, I, somebody needs to call an ambulance for Mega Man, dude. I don't know what the fuck happened. Oh my god. Ugh. 
You're like, what the fuck, man? It looks like they were all encased in glass. Like, they're just like, help me, kill me. And then we got the fucking Dr. Wily's. Look, look, we got the weird fucking spaceship. It's like in, in the background of this. It's fucking so weird how they did that shit. Filler, I guess, but... I haven't really looked at this one too much, but I just had to get it. Mega Man 3. Even though uh, Mega Man 3 is not my favorite, but I don't know. It's grown on me over the years, I suppose. Uh, Rescue Rangers, too. $6.99. But yeah, I won't flip through all these, man. There's all kinds of shit in these things. But I'm slowly getting a Nintendo Power Collection going here. And this is a thick one, man. I had to get this, but Super Castlevania 4. So this is like when the Super Nintendo was first coming out, and... Shit was getting going, so seventeen ninety nine. So yeah, when I say I don't buy nothing from Phasers on Stun, it's not true. I do buy some things, but not always. But yeah, this is a thick one. Look how thick that one is. It's when they actually gave a damn. But that's all I wanted to show you, bitches. Uh, I got all kinds of books. Th those are just a handful of books that I have. And like I said, I mean, if you if anybody has any Nintendo powers they want to get rid of or anything like that, let me know, bitches. Um, I'm always looking for those. I love Nintendo Power. I love EGM. Like I said, a lot of my EGMs were destroyed, so that's a big bummer. Um, that only happened a couple months ago. I went over to get my EGMs from my parents' house, and I went upstairs, and I was like, what the fuck? Because left, somebody left a window open, and my books were destroyed. So I lost, like... 50 magazines, 60 magazines or something. That was a bummer. I salvaged some of them, but oh well. All right, bitches. Silent Rob out. More vids on the way.